What is up everyone? Welcome to this episode of the Toy Freaks. I found these Transformers Series 1 two packs at five below. I got the whole set. So I thought let's just do a set overview and review. I'll see you on the other side of the intro. Okay, so in, I guess, the main line uh, collection here, there are five packs. Each have two Transformers in them. And then, of course, there are two chase cards, which I also have. I'll show those at the end. But I just kind of want to take a quick tour. Here is the package. Um, actually, nice packaging. I kind of dig the packaging with this white and red Transformers on the side, Series 1. See, this pack has Bumblebee and Megatron. We've got our infrared optic. I'm not a big fan of those, but I do like, you know, the packaging, the way it looks. It's got the Micro Machines logo on it. And then on the back, I don't like that it doesn't show the other packs. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't show the whole set. And that's sort of like standard. That's like a tradition in, you know, action figures and whatnot to have, you know, the rest of the series or the rest of the set rather on the back of the package. And here it just tells you to flip the car over, see this infrared thing, and then use the infrared guy. But uh, yeah, man, big old stinky Hasbro logo on the back. But there's number one, that is uh, Bumblebee and Megatron. The second one in the pack is uh, Starscream and Optimus Prime. And again, it, uh, the packaging is fine. And uh, the cars are decent. I mean, it's not like there's anything wrong with the vehicles. But again, on the back, just there's Bumblebee again. I know, I know Hasbro's loves Bumblebee, man. They love to push that Bumblebee, get that Bumblebee merch. So there's Starscream and Optimus Prime. Number three in the set is Jazz and Jetfire. Jetfire is that really nice SR-71 Blackbird. I love that aircraft. It's so awesome. Again, on the back, man, just very generic. All right, number four is Alita One and Sideswipe. Sideswipe is a very cool character. I like Swipe. Sideswipe. Can't even say it. Say it five times fast. But Alita One, this little pink motorcycle. It's actually very nicely detailed. Probably not showing up too well on the camera. Maybe that's good. But uh, yeah, I like the look of that motorcycle with the pink on the front and then the black in the back. Looks really good. And lastly, in the main line here, number five. We have Brawl and Blackout. So we have a little, little military two-pack here. Brawl, of course, is that big tank, which actually should be on the bottom so this thing doesn't fall over, right? It makes it top heavy. And Blackout's a very cool uh, helicopter, almost like a CH-53 style helicopter. So the first chase car is a translucent bumblebee. You can tell the silver here. There are no silver and gold chase cars anymore, unfortunately. And I, I gotta be honest, uh, they've already done the translucent bumblebee, <laughs> you know, but there is what the bumblebee and the translucent bumblebee look like. Yeah, not a bad car. I just kind of wish they would be a little better. You know what I mean? And the second chase car in the series is the translucent Optimus Prime. Again, it's silver here and it says chase. So you'll be able to easily identify this. At, uh, at five below, but you can see the regular Optimus Prime has a, it's kind of blue and red on the, where the trailer goes. And then this one is completely blue. And again, it's translucent, so you can kind of see through it. But otherwise it's essentially the same vehicle. That probably looks the best right there. But yeah, anyway, those are your two chase cars. So here we go. Uh, before we go, we got to give a final review, but let's talk about some pros, some cons, some things that I would do different. The first is get rid of this infrared thing. That is only there for perceived value to make you feel like you're getting a little something extra at that price point. And remember, these little guys were very popular in the 80s for uh, the G1 Transformers. These are the movie Transformers. So why, why do we bother having these? Again, it's perceived value. It's to make you feel like you're getting a little extra. Speaking of G1, I would like them to do G1 cars with the G1 paint schemes. At least, if you're gonna do these, give them a G1, give Bumblebee a G1 paint job, Optimus, you know, Jetfire. You know, make these cars 
look like the cars that we're nostalgic for. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with the vehicles, right? They're all nice vehicles, they're nicely detailed. They look great, that type of thing. But for God's sakes, it's typical Hasbro here. They reuse, uh, repaint, recycle, and repackage. That's their MO. And almost every one of these cars, I'm pretty sure, was in the Transformers uh, movie packs, the, the four vehicle $10 packs that Target was selling for $11. So you get like the, the regular mainline vehicles, you get like five cars. Well, in the Transformers ones, you got four. And the regular packs were $9.99, those were $10.99. They're, they're like squeezing an extra dollar out and they're just giving you the same vehicles that we had. They're just sort of repackaged, right? Like instead of a four pack, they're in a, a two pack. So, uh, you know, the price point at $5, I'm, I'm fine with that price point. You know, you don't want to pay that. You'd like to be in that $4 range, but $5 isn't the worst thing ever. A whole set here is, you know, 25 bucks minus the chase cars, which that's manageable, I think, for most collectors. But my real problem with this whole thing is that they are just reusing vehicles that have already been done, including, including the chase cars. Like, why can't Megatron or Starscream or how about a translucent Jetfire? That would be awesome. Uh, but they just won't. Hasbro won't do that. So uh, overall, I'm going to give this set a C. Yeah, I think a C. A middle of the road C because it's a middle of the road set. So if you look on the back of the packaging, you know, it's got that big hunkin' Hasbro blue logo there and GM, right? And you only see Jazzwares like where here on the on the right hand side and mentioned in very small print. So it's quite obvious that Jazzware is not even in control of this line anymore. Hasbro's taking it back. They're gonna pump out these transformers and it's gonna be a massive disaster, which is horrible because they just got the license to Ford in the mystery vehicle packs. There was a Ford F-150 that was the chase car. So I, I would rather have five of the same F-150s painted in different colors than have something like this. You know what I mean? This is, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not great. I would also get rid of a lot of these characters. I would do like a, an Optimus Prime in vehicle mode and then a figure about that tall or so in uh, robot mode. And I would do that for Bumblebee and Megatron and maybe some of the other more well-known ones like Jazz. Um, and do the two pack that way. Instead of two cars, give me one one transformer in vehicle form, one transformer in robot form, get rid of the infrared nonsense. And I think that would be a, a much better project, a product. It would actually kind of refresh the transformers line a little bit. It would give collectors something to actually kind of look for. And uh, like I already mentioned before, we, we gotta get away from doing Bumblebee and Optimus Prime as the chase cars all the time. And while I don't mind the translucent vehicles, or they're, they're kind of nice, um, I would like to see them go back to a gold or a silver or ruby red. You know, make Optimus, uh, Optimus Prime like a like a, an electric blue, metallic blue type color, and uh, you know, make make Jetfire a, a metallic black with metallic red stripes. I don't know, something better uh, than the translucent ones because that that's starting to get old at this point. So, what do you guys think? Make sure that you leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff to the Toy Freaks. And we are going to do some unboxings of these in the near future. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your Toy Freaks goodness. Guys, take care of yourselves and we will see you on the next one.